I will. 
So it is on Matthew 1, verse 18 to 25, and Luke 1, 26 to 38. So the response, po. so the response, ibig sabihin po, it means, is an action. Are we all agree po? Amen. Amen. So response is an action. It means there is something to do. If we have not just say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, but we have to do something. So this afternoon, we will talk about these two characters in the Bible, the early parent of Jesus. So these two ordinary people, they are just like you and me. Amen. But they are chosen by God to fulfill his plan. That's why they are in the Bible, because they respond to the calling. Amen. Amen. So let's next slide. Oh, let's see, read the Luke chapter one. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. So a young woman named Mary, living a normal life according to New Living Translation, that New Living Translation explanation that she's just a normal woman and is actually poor, is not rich, no? Living a normal life that, you know, sometimes is better out of rather than back to let me, you know, me marry, is out of rather, safe. But then, uh, you know, everything look good so can you You can see that he's, we all know that he's, you know, he's engaged to Joseph, a carpenter, so everything according to plan. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Then Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman, the Lord is with you. So everything in place is up until the angel Gabriel visit. But the result of the visitation of the angel changed her life forever. Gusto po natin katulad ni Mary na, you know, when an angel of God, when God visit us, now when we answer, that will change our life. Amen. Amen. What change our life for the good? Amen. Amen. What? So, um, so sabi ng, sabi ng angel Gabriel, greetings, faithful woman, the Lord is with you. And so Gabriel is a messenger of God, an angel of God, that every time he come, is always bring important message. You know, you visit Zachariah, you visit Daniel, 
So, it's always something important. Kaya, when um, the angel visit Mary, Mary was confused and disturbed. No, naisip niya, who am I? Who am I that the angel of God visiting me and saying I'm faithful? So, of course, you will get confused and disturbed, sabi niya dito. So he's trying, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. faithful woman, the Lord is with you. So you know God, God chose, God doesn't have it to choose the ordinary people to reveal um, his power. You know, that in this occasion for is up to reveal our Savior. He chose the ordinary people. Now, He's not looking your appearance. He's not looking, ah, you are rich, you are um, a descendant of king, this king, that. But he's looking of the heart. Amen. So, um, don't be afraid, sabi ng, sabi ng Gabriel. Don't be afraid, Mary. The angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. So nabasa po sa explanation po, sabi niya, this is the news that almost every woman in Israel, Israel hoped to hear. You know, imagine you say that he will be, uh, you know, you give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. So, lahat ng ta, na lahat ng we all know the kingdom. Maraming kingdom dito, especially in Europe, so many kingdom. But we know those kingdom there is an end. It could be a reason there's there's no successor, or there is no um, like the the loss in the war. It could be anything. But sabi niya, this his kingdom will never. Amen. Then Mary asked the angel, but how can this happen? I am a virgin, sabi niya. So sa, si Luke, si Luke naman po, alam po natin, he was a medical doctor. Alam niya how babies are made. Diba? So he said, uh, in the word, when Mary said, how can this happen? He said, it's not that, the, the word of the angel. Amen. But he just wanted to ask how this could happen. You know, I am a virgin. Hindi ka tulad, it's not like Sakaraya, di ba? When, when the Gabriel say Elizabeth will be with child, but sabi ni Sakaraya, how can I be sure? So like he doubt, but si Mary, di po, said, how can this happen? That's the difference. He just want to make it clear that the angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby to be born will be holy and he will be called the son of God. Ibig sabihin po na, you know, we can see that Mary has the favor of God already. No? Kita natin. Ha? But God's favor is not automatically po na bring the instant success. Bigla ka na overnight your success. Amen po? But hindi po. Like Mary, God bless her because of her submission. But she still has to face the reality that to be with child without a father, it is a disgrace. Amen po? Okay lang yung sabi ni, um, sabi ni Gabriel, sabi niya din, what's more that your relative Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. People used to say she was barren, but she has conceived a son and is now in her sixth month, for the word of God will never fail. Amen. So sa buhay ni Elizabeth, okay na siya. He's okay because he, he, she has a husband. But in Mary's life, you can imagine, put yourself in Mary's situation. You know? And in those days, that how they value the virginity of the woman. And ngayon, and you're pregnant pa, ay kawawa siya, di ba? Is, Pity at her. But, sabi ng angel, for the word of God will never fail. Naintindihan niya 
according to the Bible, that um, Mary understands the Old Testament. He knows she read the prophecy that a child will be born as our God, that the birth of Jesus to a virgin is a miracle. And sometimes people that they don't understand, you know, it's hard to believe. Diva, you can speak outside the look, Jesus born from the virgin. They will laugh at you. you know? But then um, Mary, because he knows the word of God, he understands how God's work. Now when for the word of God will never fail. It's just a reminder to her that God never fails. Kaya a response siya kagad, sumagot siya. I am the Lord's servant. Let everything you have said about me come true. And the angel left her. Amen po? Amen po? Amen. Amen. Respond na lang po ka po. <laughs> But I can, I know that you are awake. So it, this earlier po is the situation in Mary's po. Ngayon naman po, we're talking about Joseph. Joseph, sorry. Sa Pilipino po, talaga Joseph, di ba? Joseph. English, Joseph. Joseph, yeah. So Matthew 1, verse 18 to 25, this is Joseph. The word of Messiah. This is how Jesus Messiah was born. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. Joseph, sorry. Samad po, Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. So, in the Jewish marriage, it's involved three basic steps. In you know, the Jewish marriage, according to the Bible, it involves three basic steps. The agreement, the union, the agreement between the two families that they are agreed for this union. And in Kuala come to the engagement. But then the engagement, they have to do public announcement. So you can imagine, I'm sure they will announce in Simbahan. Of course, you know, we know the um, Mary, uh, I believe it, you know, the way they speak about Mary, that he knows the word of God, it means her family is um, sila ng church. So I'm sure they announce sa Simbahan, siyempre, di ba po? But yung sa kanila, in their engagement, it's not like, these days, engagement is still break. No, in their Jewish law, engagement only can be break through death or divorce. So in Pixabin, parang they are closer to marriage, but they're not marriage because they're not living together. So the third one is marriage life, when they are living together as a husband and wife. Well, so yan, well, there's a three basic steps in Jewish marriage. Now, you can imagine, you know, when um, Joseph hear, Joseph hear that she become pregnant. Of course, you know, yung una na isip na people will think it's unfaithfulness, di ba? Or it's unfaithful. And then Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man. Mabait siyang tao. And did not want to disgrace her publicly. publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. So, sa Jewish civil law po, Joseph has a right to divorce Mary. And Mary could be stoned to death as a punishment. Malala, malala, English? It's worse in those days. Malala. Malala po. So these days, um, you know, even, you can see there's so many single mothers, they won't get stoned to death. They won't be punished, diba? Mm -hmm. Those days is so, um, sorry, never mind. It's so um, strict. Can you strict sila doon po? So doon po, Joseph, because he knows the law, and because he is a righteous man, Joseph faced difficulty choice that he doesn't want Mary to suffer. Now you can imagine stone to death. How, how many stone? You can. It's, it's so painful as well to see. And then hindi lang yun. The whole, obviously, the family, your family will be, you know, you just like it's disgrace. It's family. You know, people will talk, talk of the town. As he considered this, 
Naisip ka lang, di ba? This old Joseph only think about it and an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Kung ako si Joseph, lalo pang ako, I'm even more confused, di ba? You even like, pregnant? From Holy Spirit? Never heard before, no? But then she will have a son, sabi ng angel, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this occurred, occurred, occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. He says, Luke the virgin will conceive a child, she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Amen. When Joseph, went, when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. You see, po, Joseph had choice. You know, when the angel spoke to him, the angel didn't force him, you have to take Mary as your wife. No. The angel just said the message from God, this is what's happening, happened. this is what's happening. Joseph had a choice. Each of us, tayo po lahat, there is a choice how we serve in God. Well, when we were, you know, serving God. But Joseph chose to obey the angel command. But he did not have a sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. Hallelujah. So, nabasa po natin, we understand the story of Mary and Joseph. So as an individual, as a human being, they have their initial thoughts. Po. Tao lang sila. So si Mary, there's an initial thought. Si Joseph, there's an initial thought. Si Mary, when he heard the angel, iba sabi ng kanina, he's confused and disturbed. He's confused like, who am I? This a great angel of God come visit me. And he said, I am very God. Imagine po, pumunta lang, you, the angel come into your dream and he said, you are faithful. Anong bang feeling mo yung overjoy, overwhelm? Sa kanya they give you surprise and frightened at the same time. And then, as this human, because it is an initial thought po, as a human being, when he hurts, he will get, he will be a big child. You know, whilst he still, she's, she's still a virgin. Of course, in his mind, in her mind, there's a lot of things going on. But you put yourself in her situation, you will think, oh my goodness, I will be disgraced to my family at the beginning. What my friends going to say about it? You know? And then, of course, as a woman, where is my dignity? And where is my social status going to be? People won't understand when you say, you know, the angel come to me. They probably laugh. But in life, in real life, sometimes we think more what people think about us. It's fine, there's nothing wrong, but we are not always value their thought above God's value us. But what? God is always, you know, we each of us, we are special created of God. Each of us, our own beauty, each of us, are, we have our own calling. Diba? Hindi pare-pareho. Diba? Like, sabi ni Ate Alice, this Esther Karen is not being, in singing, but it's, that's not her strength. But you give her teaching, she can do it better. Because that is her strength. Amen. So, each of us, what we are, are, we have our strength and our calling. So, si Mary, next slide now, is thinking like, you know, Goodness, this is what I have to face him. You know, this is grace, this dignity. Wala ako social status. What I'm gonna live for, diba? As a human being, that's what thought come up to him, to her. Next naman si Joseph. When he heard that Mary's with child, as a man, as a man, of course, nasa isip mo, wow, I've been betrayed. It's so painful. The woman that I'm about to marry, I 
as a child, you know. As a man, you don't have so many words, you know. For men, isang word lang sa kanila is pride. You don't have to put so many next, next part. Pride lang kung nawala sa kanila. Tapos na po. So, kasi sa kay Joseph, is pride. But that is the risk they have to take in if they want to respond to the calling. In life, in the real life po, everything they have risk. Di ba po? Amen. Everything has risk. You put your money in the bank, you don't know the bank call up the next day, that's a risk. You might go to work every day and the company bankrupt, you don't have a job suddenly. There is a risk. Di ba po? But yung question di, is it all worth it? Sabay ni Joseph and Mary? Yes. yes, of course. We can say that is of course because we know the ending of the story of Mary and Joseph. How about us? When God calls us, you know, there is a risk that, you know, when God asks to do something that informs us to give up something, now, can we say, is it all worth it for God? Kaya po man sabihin po? Amen. Ilan lang po narinig isa. So it breaks up. I don't know, joke lang po. So, but it's, it's true po. When God asks to do something, there is a risk we have to take. But we have to be wise na. He is the God na. When He asks you to take the risk, it means He will be with you all the way. He will be with you until the finish line. Amen po? Amen. Are we all willing to take a risk po? For God? Amen. Amen po? It's not easy because we have to give up something that we've been doing it 